First thing what you have to do is go to the PC or the NAS or the server that you want the files to be sent to from the scanner. So this is the PC that I have which is on my network and I'm remote desktop accessing it. So I'll create a folder called uh, what? Scan. Scanner. Okay. I right click it. I go to properties. I go to sharing. And then I click sharing under the network files. And there's one owner permission level. Choose two people to share with. Now let me add another user called um, uh, everyone if you want anyone on your network to get it visible on your phone devices or on your network devices so I click read or write or both I'll select just uh, both why not right then I press share and then this is what the option comes over here. I press done. Then below that is called advanced sharing. You click that, you go to share this piece, share this folder. Now you have a share name. I give it a scanner as the folder's name. And if I want to, I can even change it like SCN, folder SCN, capital or small letter. I'll keep it capital, but generally it's preferred small letter, so SCN. So this is the network path. Okay, always keep in mind. Always keep in mind the network path. So copy this network path. Control C. All good. Wonderful. Close it. Then go to your browser. First thing is first. You have to know what is your uh, printers which has a scan option to the network to a folder. Is its IP address. It's static IP address, not its dynamic IP address, which changes within few hours or minutes, depending on the configuration. And mine is here. Mine is that is dot one zero x y z. And I'll go to this page. This is the portal of my HP Color LaserJet MFP M two eight one F. DW. and it's a laser jet and you have to go to the option first always keep in mind go to wait, systems administration and always look at enable features and always the scan to network folder option should be enabled don't forget that and always apply the change because you have to apply the change then go to scan then after you go to scan you go to network folder configuration if this page doesn't show up automatically you have to go to scan to network folder in the left tab and network folder setup when you select that this page opens now i press new it shows your display name what you want it to be displayed when you select the scan option in your printer it will show up that name exactly don't keep it lengthy don't like write 10 to 20 uh, letter words like just give it short simple short form you know abbreviate it so i'm going to give it a test test scan okay so now scan scanner don't worry, it is not going to affect the folders and all because it's all different. And the network path. Do you remember that the path that we have copied of this folder? Where it is? This folder's path. This. 
but I would prefer go to sharing and then say the network path. This is a network path. Copy it and you paste it under the network path. Paste it. And the forward slash that is the backslash that is there, it's always preferred. Wait, forward slash? Yeah. Okay. Never mind, you understand the point. Then username and password. Now the username and password is a, is for the PC or the NAS that you're hosting. The administrative password and the administrative username. Exactly. Don't mess it up. Mine is uh And password is and below there's an option here that is known as PDF how you want it to save as when it exports from your physical form to the virtual form sorry digital form uh, PDF or J GIF I would prefer PDF because it's a general standard and depending on the paper size like generally if you're using letter you can use letter or an A4 and peep the scan resolution, I would prefer you select the highest, the best, if your settings it supports. If it doesn't, you've got to stick with what it has. So I stick high 600 dpi, which is decent for a file size or file quality. Then the output color, color or black and white. I always prefer color. Then later you can you know change it when you're printing out, you can select it as black and white or no. It's up to you. Then the file name prefix. That is what it's going to be like scan XYZ. Scan XYZ. Like scan XYZ1. Scan XYZ2. Scan XYZ3. It'll like just repeat scan, 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 scan. And you can, you can if you want, you can even change it. Like scan, instead of scan, you can say uh, PDF. Uh, hyphen XYZ or or network or oh, blah, blah 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 you can have okay you have a limit <laughs> but yeah you can write that and you can just like okay wait no man give a minute and I save it And there you go. It was very simple. Sometimes the interface glitches. It has some bugs. So if it shows unsuccessful, just recheck your credentials, you know, and make it sure that you know it's not wrong. Especially the links. The when I say links is the uh, the path, the network path, and at the same time you have to see the login detail because if login authentication if it doesn't occur it could be a hindrance sometimes you don't require authentication so if your password if you have no password for that nas or pc just keep it blank and you're all good to go and that's it for today's video till then take care and stay safe